First we have to start out with a perspective structure and you need the vanishing point that stands for the eye level. You need points A and B on either end and you need a vertical line down below the horizon line. Then you draw lines from the top and bottom of the line to point A and point B like you've learned to do before. We're just getting ready to do the part that I want to teach you today. Then you establish the corners by making your vertical lines and making them parallel to the center line. Then you draw a line from opposite corners to point A and then you draw the other line to, from the other corner to point B. Now you have the top. Now to start your door, of course you start with a vertical line like we did before and this is on the B side so I line up the top of the line with the B vanishing point. And then I finish off the other side by adding a line parallel to the first line. Okay, now we're ready to make this one three-dimensional. So you see I'm lining up this corner with A, and then I'm only drawing a short distance because that's going to be the thickness of the door. And then I line my ruler up so that it's parallel to the edge of the door and I have the thickness of the door. Now to make a door frame, start with a vertical line a little bit taller than the door, however tall I want the frame to be. And then since this is in the B side, I line it up with the B point. And I draw it a little bit beyond the door, depending on how wide I want the frame to be over there. and then I add my other side of my frame. I'll add a window in the A side. So I start with a vertical line, uh, the height of the window. Then I draw lines from the top and bottom of that line to point A using my ruler. Then I finish off the basic window by adding a line parallel to the first line so I have a complete window. Now I'll add thickness by lining up this corner with B and only making a very short line the thickness of the window frame. And this is what you have. Then I draw a vertical line to complete that side of the, well, I think it's the window casing maybe, like that. And with this one, I line up this corner with A. And you can kind of figure this out as you go along because you can try to think of what it would look like and it'll help you a lot when you're trying to figure out which point to draw where and things like that. So now we have the thickness of the window and we can add a frame just like we did with the door. But I won't do that here. Okay, now to add like a skylight, I first draw a dot to establish where I want the corner of it to be. Then I draw a line from that dot to B. And I draw another line from that dot to A, but I only make it as long and wide as I want the skylight to be. And then I um, basically draw to opposite vanishing points. I'll draw this line to B. And then I'll draw this line to A. Now to make it look more 3D, I'll add a vertical line in this corner because you'll be able to see the inside of that, just like that. And then I'll draw from A to the um, vertical line. It's not very long.
And then I'll draw a line to B from that little vertical line. And there we have it, a three-dimensional looking opening on the top.